cool. When she was born, Theodore Roosevelt was president, and the Tigers made it to the World Series. She's preparing for her 102nd birthday celebration tomorrow, but she took some time out to talk to Action News reporter Brandon Trutling. Both a wheelchair and cane rest in her living room, only collecting dust, because I'm told there's no chance Wilma Poole will use them to get around. She get mad with you until you try to get her to use it. Not even at age 101. Call her Miss Independent, so says her 85-year-old son, Bernard Hales, who flew into Metro Detroit from Orlando, a visit to celebrate his mom turning 102. I'll be here every year on birthday, on her birthday. Meet the grandmother of 40 great-grandmother of more than 25, and great-great-grandmother of more than a dozen. God has blessed me. Her recipe for long life. I've been taking care of myself and to serve in the Lord. With the exception of needing a ride to church. I enjoyed my Bible study. If I'm here, I have to take her to church. Her oldest of five kids, Bernard, and Deborah Wilkins, one of 40 grandkids, say Miss Poole often shuns away helping hands. She do her own cooking. I mean, she do her collard greens and cornbread and all that. She's witnessed true change from the days of hard work in Alabama, where wages were considerably lower. We had to work hard, working for 10 cents an hour. Two present times. Our lives are much improved. And her mind is still sharp. She can think better than I can. She can remember better than me. And now she's looking forward to a good time tomorrow. One that won't include running the streets, if you were wondering. <laughs> I never have run the streets. Tomorrow, the staff here at Bicentennial Towers is going to hold a party for Miss Poole. And Miss Poole, I'm told, really wants it to be intimate. So only about 30 people will attend. And I'm told at her age, whatever she wants, She's going to get Brandon Trutling, Channel 7 Action News. Oh, I would God think so. Bless.